Problem 23. Two congruent circles centered at points A and B, each passed through the other circle center. The line containing A and B is extended to intersect the circles at points C and D. The circles intersect at two points, one of them being E. What is the degree measure of CED? So you have the diagram right here. And obviously I have access to paint, so it will be much neater looking. But you know, you can just always do a rough graph, right? And just understand the relationship that you're drawing. But for the sake of visual appealing, appealing appearance, I'm just going to draw like this. Now, with this understanding, what can we say about this? Circles are special because circles have radii. And what are all radii equal to? They're equal to themselves. So that means we can potentially have a lot of congruent triangles. And do we have them? Well, you drew a bunch of points. And when you have points, typically, you want to connect them. So let's connect A and E, and let's connect E and B. What do you notice about it? Well, AE is a radius. Right, because AE, right, A is the center. And we know that B is also a radius, but they're just congruent circles, so they have the same radius. If that's the case, what is AB? Well, AB passed through each pass through each circle center. So that means by definition, this is another radius. I have a triangle where all three sides are congruent. What does that mean? That means this is 60 degrees, that means this is 60 degrees, that means this is also 60 degrees. But then what do we also know? We also know that AC is another another radii. So if if AE is 60, if A if E A B is 60, then the complementary angle I'll do in red for clarity. This angle right here is 120, but this is an isosceles triangle, right? Because I have this to be 120, and I know this to be R, this to be R. So that means this is equal to this angle. Therefore, this is 180 minus 120 divided by 2, which is equal to 60 divided by 2, which is equal to 30 degrees. If that is equal to 30 degrees, then what does this mean? By symmetry, this is also equal to 30 degrees. What are we trying to find? We are trying to find the measure of CED. CED is this entire angle. So CED would be equal to what? Since CED has the sum of its angles to be 180, that's 180 minus 60, which is equal to 120. Therefore, your final answer will be answer choice C.